Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Emerly. So, today we are doing a chit chat, get ready with me, like answering your advice type video. Um, I actually got a lot of the same questions, so I was like, you know what? Why not answer them? There's a disclaimer, like this is how I would deal with every situation. Like these are just suggestions, so take anything I say with a grain of salt. Um, but yeah, I feel like I've been through enough of these scenarios to, you know, give my little expertise on them. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Don't forget to click the little bell so you get notifications every time I post. And also don't forget to follow me on all social medias so you don't miss stuff like this. I asked this poll on my Instagram. So I'm gonna start doing a lot more interactive things. So follow me so you don't miss out. And yeah, before this video, I feel like this video is gonna be a little bit long. Sorry guys, so grab a snack and let's get into it. Um, if you know me, you already know I can't talk and do my makeup at the same time. I'm not a multitasker, <laughs> so this is going to be very interesting. If I don't say the product name, they're gonna be down below in the description, so don't even worry about it. I already did my brows because you already know how long that takes, but I did change the way I do them. So if you want a tutorial on those, let a girl know. I'm also getting ready to go to my friend's house later, so I'm doing literally the most basic look possible. So, I think I'm gonna like ease into the questions. Um, so the first question that I got a lot is, um, first of all, some of you don't read the question because I clearly put that this is gonna be an advice video and you guys were like asking me like it was like a question and answer, like what's your favorite color? I was like, girl, that's not advice, but it's fine. I guess I just have to make it bigger next time. But um, yes, the first question is, how do you increase your flexibility? First of all, I'm probably not the best person to ask <laughs> because yes, my back is flexible, but my hip flexors are on no, no, they're on tight. I grew up dancing with a really, like a bunch of flexible people and my dance teachers took like flexibility like really seriously. And since I've gone to that studio, like do it, I don't know why I'm saying this to you, Joanne Chapman School of Dance. Um, since I've gone to uh, Joanne Chapman, like I've really like, I was never the most flexible kid, but I've obviously like, you know, gotten better. Um, it just has a lot to do with stretching, guys. Like consistency and stretching. People say practice makes perfect. Like it's actually like a real thing. So if you practice and you do it every day and just stay consistent with it, like you, it's bound to happen eventually. So yes, there's a bunch of exercises that like you can do for stretching. Um, if you look them up, honestly, on YouTube, there's probably a bunch because this these days, like everybody can hit a side tilt. So it's kind of like something that is very popular, I guess. So yes, look it up. I'm pretty sure all I can give you is as like advice is stay consistent and I guarantee you it's gonna happen. Just keep practicing, like you got this. Next question. Um, they were asking for advice on fake friends. Listen people, I have had my share of fake friends, okay? And with fake friends, honestly and truly, or with any friends in general, my thing is choose people who choose you. My mom used to tell me this all the time. And I'm like, whatever mom, like, I don't get it. Now, I get it. Me and my sister were actually talking about this the other day. And I feel like if people can't benefit from you, like, they'll lose interest. So like, if they're not getting anything, they will just, you know, start treating you like you're a regular. And let me tell you right now, Whoever you are watching this video, you are not a regular. You can do amazing things and you can change the world and you do not need fake friends. If you realize, listen, we need to stop normalizing red flags and I'm the queen of it. I'm like, oh, like, you know, they have probably had a valuable reason. So they probably had a valid reason to do what they did, like da 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 da. No, they didn't because we, as human beings, know right from wrong, we do and it is what it is. So if you feel as if someone is doing you wrong, there is someone who will do you right. So stop wasting your time with fake friends. Listen, 
it's easier said than done because your girl is still learning, but I guarantee you that choose people who choose you. You are gonna go through friendships, guys. Like, yeah, it's sad to say, but you're gonna meet people, you meet everybody for a reason, you do. I'm learning, oh my God, I'm actually learning, this is crazy. It's just like, you're, you're gonna meet them for a reason, and everybody in your life is a lesson. It could be a good lesson, it could be a bad lesson, but they're gonna be a lesson, okay? So all I can say is, do you? I'm telling you right now, you probably have 25 friends. By the end of your whole school year or whatever, like your school career, you can end up with two or three, or even one, because it's, trust me, okay? Of course you want to be loved, of course you want to have a solid friendship, but I'm telling you, choose people who choose you because there's someone who is going to treat you 100% better than the person who is treating you bad right now. Don't even waste your energy on that because you will just crawl in a ball and be upset about it. Don't. Don't. Don't do it. Yes? And I'm not a fake friend, so if I'm my friend. I'm here. Sorry, I could not do my eyeliner or my lashes on camera. I was just wanted to zip through that. Okay, so this one I already talked about like with my students because I'm, I'm a dance teacher. Um, it was, it had to go with going to university or college um, when wanting to pursue a dance career. Um, so I'm just gonna start prepping the face and I'm just gonna go in. Um, another thing you can't ask me, because um, I did not go to school. Um, I feel like my answer is gonna be a little bit biased <laughs> because I did not go to school. Um, I had a plan to go and um, I ended up booking the next step the summer I graduated high school. I always wanted to do dance, I always did. It was always like a thing, but I think I was always like afraid to actually like go and do it. But I knew that's like what I wanted to do is like dancing and acting, so my dance teacher actually was like talking to me and she's like just go for it like you know just do it um in my opinion it's like school will always be there this is just my opinion remember take this with a grain of salt um but i personally think i'm like well school is always going to be there if i really need to go back i am so open to always going back um so yeah that's where i stand i just feel as if like if i spend too much time Focusing so if my dance dream is my plan A and I'm so focused on plan B which is school It's gonna take away my focus from plan A. So I'm like You see what I did there? It just it doesn't really I don't know. I've always Thought that yes, like school is always amazing, but it doesn't work for some people and I was one of those people um, I always got my work done and like did what I need to do. I wasn't a terrible student I just, you know, I feel like if there's other ways to do it, I feel like if there was a way for me to do what I love, I wanted to do it, so I did it. <laughs> and so far, it's been working out for me. I'm still learning, I'm still growing, and you never know what the future holds. So I'm always open to going back to school, but um, for you, I just think personally, like, do what's best for you. I feel like parents are always gonna tell you, like, to go to school and do that because I don't know, I just think that's very like traditional what they had to do is go to school. Um, but I've seen like a lot of people like, you know, thriving off of not going to school. Um, like I said, take it with a grain of salt, do whatever you think is best for you. It's your life. Um, also, like, don't be, another thing is like, don't be afraid to take a year off, guys. Like, me, I was afraid to take a year off because I know if I took a year off, I wasn't going back. Um, but I feel as if, like, picking what you want to do for the rest of your life at, like, how old do you when you graduate? 17? Like, imagine picking what you want to do for the rest of your life at the age of 17. Like, I just think that's, like... A bit extreme <laughs> I don't know this is just my way of thinking some people can probably think I'm wrong um, go to school though it's it it is great to have like a degree it is so you know do that if you want to be a doctor people go ahead live your dreams anything I've seen so many things anything is possible listen there's no way I ever thought I would be on a TV show what ask me that in grade 6 
I'd be like, haha, yeah, right. Like, you know what I mean? So, literally, do whatever you want with your life. Like, if you have the mindset that you're gonna be successful and have like the ambition and motivation to do it, you're going to do it, trust me. Next, um, so there's two questions. It was like, how do you deal with a breakup and dating advice? Um, relationships and breakups are always hard, no matter if it ends on good terms or if like you guys could have ended the worst way possible. It will always, it'll take a bit to get over. Well, that's me personally. Some people can like, you know, move on. Um, yeah, they're not easy. I don't know. I just constantly tell myself like everything happens for a reason. It kind of like <laughs> gets me through it. <laughs> um, everybody deals with like a breakup or anything in their own way. Um, so I just feel like try and maybe focus on other things. Um, do other things that you like to do, hang out with friends, um, go outside, like don't sit in your room. It's, it's easier, like I said, easier said than done, but um, try not to sit in your room, stay active, just try and live your life. It, it's, it's obviously always gonna be hard because like you had a connection with that person, you know what I mean? Uh, I just feel like do things you love to do. I'm not gonna say distract yourself because once the distraction's over, like, you know, the pain is still there. So try, me personally, I like to look, to deal with things like, well, I like to deal with things like head on. You're gonna find like, you're gonna figure out your way to deal with it, if that makes sense. Try and, try and move forward, if that makes sense. Like, if you do nothing, like you're just gonna go backwards and, Breakups aren't easy, guys. This question was so highly requested. It's like crazy how requested it was. Um, but yeah, but I also seen a question. It said, how do you forgive yourself if you made the mistake? Like I said before, I am a big believer in prayer. I just feel like, I just feel like if we can be forgiven, you can forgive yourself and move forward. I feel like now that you've made the mistake, as human beings, as some human beings, you, we like to learn from our mistakes. So learn from it. Don't do it again. You know what I mean? You now know how it made you feel, how the situation played out, how everything worked out. Now you're like, okay, I don't want to feel like this anymore. So for the next relationship, all you can do is do better. As a human being, literally all we can do is do better. And I feel like if you sit there and stress yourself out about it, like, it's not gonna help anybody, it's not gonna help you, it's not gonna help the person. So just, you know, try your best, move on and do better. Be um, so I know I have a lot of younger subscribers. Listen, my advice to you about dating, take your time. You are in absolutely, there's no rush to date or any of that. Of course, you know, love is great, I am you don't have to tell me. I love love. I'm the first person. Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. Like, you know what I mean? But when I tell you there is absolutely no rush, take your time. I don't know, guys. Do what you want. Take it with a grain of salt, but take your time. Please take your time. Oh my goodness, guys. I got this question so many times. The question is, how are you so confident how to be confident? Guys? I don't know. <laughs> um, I feel like, well, for me personally, I, we all have our days, guys. Like, there'll be a day where I'm like, wow, like, you're actually, like, not cute. <laughs> but then there'll be days where you're like, like, you know, like, you look good. Um, personally, you guys don't really see me on days where I'm like, whoa, like, you're, you don't you're not cute today like you know what i mean like and i also feel like that's it's also a you thing and it's like it's always gonna be a you thing and dealing with it but i just feel like being confident has a lot to do with just not caring what other people think and it's obviously easier said than done because yeah like 100 percent. sometimes i'm like oh my gosh like 
what are they gonna say about this or what are they gonna say about that and like I feel as if you just no matter what guys people are gonna say something no matter what because people just love to talk so it's really up to you to be like okay is their opinion like relevant like do I really care what they have to say with confidence you just need to know who you are and who you are. You're bad. You're the baddest. Who's ever watching this? You are a force to be reckoned with and you need to stop caring what other people think because no guys, if you think about it, why? Why do you care? I literally have this conversation with myself every day. I'm like, why do you care what they think? Why? Like I said, easier said than done, but just know who you are and you are great and it, it really I wouldn't say like I have the most confident in the world, but I just feel like I'm starting to, I just feel like I'm starting to know myself in a sense where I'm like, I don't really care what anybody else thinks. And you will get there. One day you will get there and you will be like, wow, I can't believe I cared what so-and-so thought. You know what I mean? Yes. Yeah. Obviously care about what people say to like a reasonable extent. like. Like, you know, people's opinions to make yourself a better person matter. But I'm saying, like, the negatives, who cares? Who cares? Like, all the time. I get messages and DMs all the time about people just saying some mean things. And I'm like, you know what? All you gotta do is take it with a grain of salt and throw it out. I really hope I answered that question decently because I don't know, I just started rambling. <laughs> oh my gosh, I thought this was so cute and I had to answer it because um, I remember this, I remember feeling this way when I was younger. The question was, everybody has their period but me. Like, what's going on? Like, what advice do I take? Be grateful. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are going to grow up Unless you are blessed with an easy flow. Sorry boys if you're watching this. But if you are blessed with an easy flow and just everything easy under the sun, be grateful. Because I'm telling you when the time comes, you're going to be sick of it. Because sometimes I'm like, oh my gosh, can this just be over? But all jokes aside, don't worry about it. Everybody gets it at their own pace. I remember, I think I got one in grade 7. I got mine in grade seven when a couple people got theirs in grade six or some people got theirs in grade eight. Everybody is different. So do not stress yourself out about your cycle because everybody is different. Okay, I'm back. So I went to go do my lips, finish up my face, set it, and your girl is finished. Um, but I wanted to answer one more question and it was, what is your advice for aspiring black dancers and artists? Um... My advice is that it's not gonna be easy. I feel like everybody has a different experience, but don't give up because I feel like I, before coming into the industry, I had no idea the background of the way um, producers cast it or like casting directors, ca casting directors cast or like what they look for. I had no idea, um, but it can be a little more difficult for us. I'm not gonna lie to you, but Keep going, practice, be good at your craft, and don't take it lightly. No matter what, even for anybody, it's not gonna be easy, but for us, it's going to be even harder. And if you really want this, keep pushing. Because I'm telling you right now, there's times where I've been like, I just wanna give up, like, it's too hard. It's not, it's not that it's too hard, it's just like, some things are just not fair. Like, sometimes some things are just not fair, and you can't do anything about it, but do not give up. Because I know from experience, I feel like if you really want it and you continue to try, you will get somewhere. If you could benefit from that advice, do it because at the end of the day, hopefully it is all worth it because you worked so hard for it and you got it. But yeah, guys, before I go, my shout out goes to Black Lives Matter underscore Alana loves Emerly, and I love you too. Um, this picture is just another Black Lives Matter picture and honestly, guys, I get that our timeline is going back to normal and I'm posting regular content, but 
Black Lives Matter every day. I'll continue to post videos and pictures and continue to try and educate other people because until you are educated, it's not gonna get better. Just because the timelines are getting back to normal doesn't mean this movement stops. It will never stop. If me and my, this generation has anything to do with it, it will not stop. So please keep posting, keep educating yourself and just do better. So yes, thank you so much for this post. It means a lot because I haven't been seeing a lot um, the Black Lives Matter edits have been going down and I really appreciate you for posting that. So yeah guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching me get ready. Thank you for your advice questions. I hope I did okay. If you guys like videos like this, let a girl know. Uh, this video is probably so long. I'm so sorry. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and don't forget to follow me on all social medias. And once again guys, thank you for watching and until next time, we are out. Bye, guys.